Hello my friend and welcome. This is Andrew with the ClickFunnels support team and in this video we're going to walk you through the steps of creating a survey style opt-in form. Now what I've done is I've actually loaded up a basic opt-in form and cleared out everything from the template and starting from scratch with a add a new element line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a new element now. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select my survey element. And it's going to bring our survey right here onto our page. Now, a couple of things that I want to note to for you is when you open up the editor, you're going to have the option of editing your step one. You can add new steps, have a few options um, completed after the survey. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to do two questions and we're going to opt into a form using the pop-up. And uh, further down the road, we'll have an, uh, some more support articles going over each and every individual option here inside of our action step. So to get started, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll select step number one. It's going to give us the option of editing our title. So I'm going to type in, how did you hear about us? As a question. Now I'm going to have answers here. It defaults with two. I want three just to kind of add a little bit more spice to it. So we're going to say here, we're going to say Facebook. Here the next one will say YouTube. And on the third one, We'll just do something basic like social, um, no, we'll say search engine. And then we'll go ahead here. We have a button text. This is going to be the button that they're going to press after they complete the survey answer. So they'll fill in the little radio button there. And then there will be a button that they press to move on to the next step. We just go ahead and push this little eyeball button right there. And that's going to open up our, our button. I have a couple of options with that. If I wanted to change the color or anything like that, I could do that right here in this section. Um, I could change the color to say, for example, I want it to be red. I don't know if that's red or not. I'm actually colorblind. <laughs> so uh, um, I'll, I'll leave it at that color. We'll say that that's red there. And then if I want to change what the button says, all I would do is just go ahead and uh, do that up here. So when I open up this here, I could say next step. And that's going to turn this button into once the person completes the survey step, it's going to take them on to the next question in the survey. So to add another question right here, we have the option to add a new survey step. We'll be able to open that up. And as you can see here on the right, there is a new step and some questions. So the thing here I want to ask is this one, uh, do you have a mobile device? And then here for your answer, yes. And then we'll add a new one, no. And then here for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up that, that option and then we'll say uh, check answers. Because right now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually open up our modal when we complete this step. So the next thing here on completed action, we want to open our pop-up and then we're gonna do some editing here on our pop-up. So when we go ahead and do that, open this up, we have a row. Let's say we want to add a one column block to this and we wanna turn this into a video where I want to display a video for them. And then after they watch the video, it's just a basic one, whatever it might be, I wanna add in a opt-in form. So I'm gonna go ahead and input a form just like so. I'm gonna turn this into an email um, address and then the placeholder text, enter your email here. This is going to be a required field. And then we'll go ahead and add in an icon because I like adding icons to it just like that. And then we'll save that. And then what I'm gonna do here is add a button for a person to be able to submit. So we're gonna need a one column block there. And we're gonna add in a button element. We're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna take the width. And we're gonna go full width on that. And I want the action to submit the form just like so and then click submit just like that and that's going to open up that option when they complete the survey so what i'd like to do is i'd like to actually preview our survey so as you can see how did you hear about us let's say facebook we'll go to the next step um, do you have a mobile device yes we can check our answers here's the video and i want to opt in click submit and it should take me on over to our page that we have second in the funnel. So that is actually how you create a survey using the ClickFunnels platform. And obviously on your page here, you can add in another element um, if you wanted to add a cool headline. Okay, so take this and we'll, we'll move this up above our survey. We'll call this headline text and we'll tell it to take our cool survey. 
real simple like that. Now we have a headline. We can actually turn this into any look and feel that we like to with a little bit of editing and tinkering with some of the elements here in the ClickFunnels library. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to support at ClickFunnels.com. Have a great day.